In this video, we're going to look at how we can solve equations with rational exponents, such as 4x plus 1 to the 2 fifths equals 9. The way we can quickly solve these problems with rational exponents is, remember, a rational exponent really implies a radical, where the denominator is the index on the radical, and the numerator maintains as an exponent. In other words, the 5 in the denominator becomes the index of fifth root, and we keep the 2 as squaring the whole thing. These parentheses are not necessary, but they can help me remember that as I peel off the pieces, what operation I should do first to get started. Notice we have an even exponent on the outside. To clear that even exponent, we will take an e... or, I'm sorry, we'll take a square root, the opposite of squaring is a square root of both sides. Because square and square root are inverses, it will just leave what's inside the parentheses, the fifth root of 4x plus 1 equals... And because we're getting rid of an even exponent, we remember a plus or minus 3. Now, we can get rid of the radical, the opposite of a fifth root, is a fifth power. So we will take the fifth power of both sides. Fifth power and fifth root are inverses. We're left with 4x plus 1 equals plus or minus, because a positive to the fifth power is positive and a negative to the fifth power is negative, and 3 to the fifth power is 243. Now, we can clear this two-step equation by subtracting 1, giving us 4x equals... Remember to write the expression out, negative 1 plus or minus 243, and then divide both sides by 4 to get x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 243 over 4. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to go sideways as we do that plus or minus part, add and subtract. Negative 1 plus 243 is 242 over 4, and negative 1 minus 243 is negative 244 over 4. And we can reduce that to our two answers, 121 over 2 and negative 61. As we get rid of our rational exponents, we can solve them by simply rewriting them with radicals. Remembering that as we get rid of radicals and exponents, we need to be careful of evens. If the problem has an even exponent, we'll need a plus or minus in our solution. If the problem has an even radical, we would have had to check our answers in the equation. As this one only had an odd radical, there was no need to check. Although, if you wanted to check to guarantee your answer is correct, you always can go back and check those answers.